And I was telling you guys about the front headlights, they were dull. Today we're actually going to go to Harper Freight Tools because I need some uh, sandpaper. And uh, probably some backing plates as well because I'm going to use a drill. I really don't, I mean, I'll do it by hand but I will use a drill. So I'm here pretty much to get any tools that I need. So let's go inside and see what we can find. Some of the things that you're going to need um, if you want to do it yourself. Is really well, there are three uh, um, grids of sandpaper that I like to use. The first one it's going to be um, it's the 800, it's the um, 1000 and 2000. Well, it looks like so far the only one that they have here is actually uh, the 1000 grid. Although the one, the, uh, the grid that I always use, it's been 800 the first step, and then it was the 1000, and then it was the 2000 to pretty much get rid of all the fine scratches. But um, since I'm here, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab what I can and what I'm gonna need. We can always find it somewhere else. So from here, from Harbor Freight, um, looks like the only thing I'm gonna take is gonna be the uh, polish kit, which is just a polish pad with the adapter. I'm taking this right here, the um, wheel and brush sets, because I do have a small grinder and I use those right there. Um, they're quite handy, like if you ever want to remove any um, overdose of uh, gasket material from let's say a, a thermostat housing or any, anything miniature like that. Um, they're a lifesaver. And so I'm taking the, uh, the 6 inch polish kit, the brushes and the masking tape. Oh, and I ended up finding just the, uh, the 1000 grid. Um, I know I told you guys that I needed a 800 and 2000, so since I'm here, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this and we'll be going to a different store. See if we can find the, uh, the 800, the 2000, and I need the, um, the rubbing compound. Okay, so this is how they look like. Looks kind of open right here because of the fact that I just popped the hood. Don't freak out. <laughs> But yeah, that's the uh, the driver's side and that's the passenger side. Um, as you can see, there there is some moisture in the uh, on this um, corner light, but uh, I'll fix that some other time. But for now, I want to I want to get rid of all this fogginess, all this dullness from the headlight. So <clears throat> let's go for it. Since the corner lights, to be honest, they're not really um, dull or fogged up, how some people might call it. Um, I'm definitely I'm probably gonna have to tape it right here too so it's gonna be tape right here and tape right here so we can start working on it and do the same on the other side so step number one uh, masking tape anything that it might be close to the headlight as far as anything that has body paint because the last thing you want to do it's uh, it's a uh, hit it with that sandpaper you're not gonna do your corner lights because of the fact that they look good well you might want to do that as well because if you actually hit hit it with the sandpaper as well um, you're gonna create a scratches which are gonna be visible and they're gonna have to do the whole headlight so anything that you don't want the sandpaper pretty much to touch while you while you're standing there I did the same thing on the other side as you can see to be honest I mean as far as masking tape and perfection is not really the main goal as long as you cover it as long as you feel comfortable that you're not, you're not gonna send the uh, the the uh, the places or the parts that you don't want so the second step it's hit it with the uh, with the 800 grit uh, I ended up going with the wet or dry I'm actually gonna go wet style and it just makes the uh, makes the, uh, the sandpaper actually last a little longer in a way it gives gives it that um, uh, flexibility to kind of like you know maneuver it nicely over the uh, the shape of the headlight so second step uh, once you mask it up second step is hit it with 800 grit and here we go look all the yellow stuff that was um, on the headlight <laughs> and that's with the 800 grit that's pretty much all the uh, the thick layer that was over the uh, the clear stuff of it that you this is pretty much what you're trying to get rid of it but um just wanted to show you guys that. I'm gonna go ahead and keep going. So the second step on one of the headlights is almost, I think it's done. I'm, I'm then from here. I think I'm gonna move up to the 1000, which it would be considered as uh, the third step. But you can see 
um, the, this is the other one and even on the 800 look how much difference it actually made you can see the fact that it's clear more clear but once it dries out see now can you imagine once you once hit it with a 1000 and then hit it with the 2000 and then polish it oh yeah major difference compared to that one so uh, let's move on to the 1000 grit which that would be step three so with the uh, one down grid, you're gonna do the same thing. Get yourself uh, two pieces, and once again, comparison. Boom. There's the old one, which that's the other pass the passenger side, which I haven't touched yet. And this is the one that with the with the one thousand. Look at that. What a difference, right? And I haven't even polished it. I'm just sanding it. I'm just taking off the. Uh, the plaque the layer of yellow stuff that it had over the headlight so this is after hitting it with the 800 and the 1000 so if everything goes right I'm about to hit it with the 2000 so I can try to minimize all the um, the scratches so I can throw the polish and start polishing it and try to bring that shine back now that I hit it with a 2000 grid uh, if I actually run some water through it, you guys can see the difference. Watch this. Look at that. And I haven't even and I haven't even hit it with the polish yet. I just hit it with the sandpaper. But look at that. And there's the old one. The other one. Clean. Clean. Without polish. Just sandpaper. Too dull, ugly, yuck. You know, but there it is. So I think this one is ready, so I can hit it with the uh, polish. I'll go ahead and clean it good, and then we'll see how it looks like. And this will determine step number four. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I know I was supposed to do both headlights um yesterday. Um, when I finished the, uh, the driver's side, um, the sun kind of went down. I didn't have any uh, any more of uh, light, daytime light, and plus I don't I don't actually have a garage. The house that I live in, it doesn't really have a garage, so um, you know I just couldn't do it. But now it's morning. It's quite early, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, the passenger side light and. Um, We'll be repeating the same steps. Um, I already have it masked, taped around it. We're gonna hit it with the 800, we're gonna hit it with the 1000, and then the 2000, and then we're gonna polish it. All right, so let's get to work on it. So there we go, guys. Both of the headlights are finally done. There it is. That's the passenger side. You can now see uh, clearly through um, through the plastic cover not like before it was super duper shady <laughs> all the yellow stuff that you accumulate uh, uh, over time it looks amazing look at that thing all right and with that it concurs that um that's how you clean your headlights um i'm impressed using uh uh, the new and improved uh, Meguiar's uh, plastic clear, plastic cleaner, and polish. Um, I've always used their Meguiar's um, um, uh, shampoo, uh, cleaners on the end for the interior, uh, stuff like that. But I've never actually used this right here. I want for the headlights. I've always been a fan, big fan as well, of the 3M manufacturer, the 3M. And also on the... Um, and the plastic cleaner clear uh, that's what i've used before first time i use the uh, the mcguire i do recommend it go for it it's a good thing i mean it definitely looks way better than what it used to look like from one to ten ten being being the uh closest to a brand new headlight once you're done polishing uh, and sand, sand sanding it and polishing it you're probably going to end up at an eight and a half to a nine depending on how good you actually do your sanding that's in fact that's what that is what is going to actually determine um how clear how see-through is going to look like and once you hit it with this then then you're really going to see a difference that's the uh final result that's the final product this is it and i hope you guys enjoy it